The universe is everything. From the tiniest particles. The solar system, a system made up of the sun and the cosmic objects directly or indirectly orbiting the sun, i.e. gravitationally bound to each other. This planetary system is located in the Kalparush arm, 26,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The eight planets are the largest of the directly sun-orbiting objects in the solar system. Other smaller objects include dwarf planets and small solar system objects. Among the objects that indirectly orbit the sun, two natural satellites are larger than the smallest planet Mercury. 4.6 billion years ago, the solar system was formed by the gravitational collapse of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. The sun holds most of the mass of the entire solar system, and Jupiter holds most of the rest. Throughout most of the history of civilization, mankind has had various misconceptions about the solar system. Until the later Middle Ages, Renaissance period, the prevailing belief was that the Earth was fixed at the center of the universe and that it differed structurally from the heavenly or celestial bodies moving through the sky. Although the ancient Greek philosopher Aristarchus thought of a heliocentric universe, Nicholas Copernicus was the first to present mathematical proof of a heliocentric planetary system. In the 17th century, Galileo Galilei discovered the first sunspots and the four natural satellites of Jupiter. Following in his footsteps, Christian Huygens discovered Saturn's moon Titan and the special shape of Saturn's rings. In 1705, Edmund Halley realized that a particular comet returns every 75, 76 years. In this way, it was first proved that other cosmic objects besides planets are also orbiting the sun. It was during this time that the English term solar system was first introduced. The sun, sun, is the parent star of the solar system and its main component. The mass of the sun is very high. The enormous density created in the interior by this mass is what keeps nuclear fusion reactions going. These reactions release enormous amounts of energy, most of which is emitted into space as various electromagnetic radiations, such as the visible spectrum. According to the classification of stars, the sun falls into the category of medium yellow dwarf. But shortening the sun in this way is not correct in one direction, because the sun is quite large and bright compared to other stars in our galaxy. Stars are classified according to the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. It is actually a graph plotting the luminosity against the surface temperature of the star. Generally, the hotter a star is, the brighter it is. Stars that follow this pattern in the diagram are considered to be in the main stream. The position of the sun is right in the middle. Stars brighter and hotter than the sun are rare, but stars less bright and hotter than that are numerous. The position of the sun in the main line indicates that he is currently in the prime of his life. That is, the storage of hydrogen required for nuclear fusion reactions has not yet been exhausted. The brightness of the sun is gradually increasing, at the very beginning of its history, it was 75% brighter than it is now. By determining the ratio of hydrogen to helium of the sun, it is known that it is in the middle of its life. Once it has moved away from the mainstream, it will become progressively larger, brighter, cooler, and redder. In this way, it will become a red monster within 5 billion years. Subscribe Corin SM by Earth. Click the bell icon.